Hello, welcome back. I am Lady T and this is the Push Channel where we pray until something happens. We believe in the power of prayer. We know not only does God hear, but I'm so thankful that he answers. I want to welcome you back to another one of our Touching Tuesday segments. And today, I want to talk to you about changing your name. Stay tuned. people's names were changed. We know Abraham as Abraham, but before that, his name was Abram. It was changed from Abram to Abraham, and he would become the father of many nations. We know that Jacob, at one time it was Jacob, and he wrestled with the angel, and his name at that time was changed to Israel, and he would go on to be blessed. And then we have Paul, whose name at one time was Saul, and his name was changed from Saul to Paul, and he would go on to spread the gospel. I say all that to tell you this, despite how you start, despite anything you have gone through, God still has the ability to change it. We have to be careful what we allow people to say over us, what we allow them to name us, what we allow them to call us and label us. See, just because you go through a trial does not mean that you're gonna be a victim always. Don't allow the trial to define who you are at the end of the day. How triumphant you are on the other side of this because you will be triumphant. How triumphant you are on the other side of this, that is gonna define you. You're not a victim, but you are victorious despite everything that's been thrown at you because you have to know what God has placed on the inside of you. Don't you know the enemy is coming at you because he knows what is coming, that there is greater coming, and he wants to stop you from your purpose. He wants to stop you from the plan that God has for you. But we cannot allow the enemy to think that he has won or beat us or beat us down. See, you're not average. He wants you to think you're the average Joe or the average Joanne. No, you're not. You're extraordinary. You will not succumb because you are a survivor. You are a survivor. You're not gonna give in. There are some of you that have been told that you'll never have anything. You'll never amount to anything. But those are the words of the enemy. Those are not God's words. See, because God has good plans for you. You will be prosperous. You will not be poor. You will not, in fact, those that are connected to me, those that are connected to the push, the push community, we will be prosperous and we are changing things for the next generation because I'm living for legacy. I'm not living for now and today. I'm living for those my, my children's children will have and they will know who the Lord is because I'm living for legacy. And that's one of the things I'm praying for. I'm already praying for the next generations to come. And those of you that are connected, we're, we're standing on that together. So we don't believe the words of the enemy. Those of you that are going through mourning, they may think I will never have joy again. I will never love again or never laugh again. But see, God is saying, I will restore you. I will make you whole again. I will wipe away every tear. I will comfort heal and give you peace that surpasses understanding. You will you will have joy again. You will find joy again. You will laugh again. Because God is a restorer. And in the natural sometimes things just look too big and too vast. But that's why we walk by faith and not by sight. Not by what I'm seeing in the natural, but holding on to his promises, holding on and keeping um, close to God and knowing that what he says in his word, that he is a rewarder 
of those that diligently seek him. As you seek his face. As you seek him for what your name is. As you seek him for what he is saying about you. Because he already knew. I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. And he knows the plans he has for you. Let's allow God to define us. Let's allow him to label us. You fearfully and wonderfully made child of God. The God that wants you to be prosperous. The God that wants to bless the works of your hands. The God that wants you say the God that loves you more than life itself so much so that he gave his son to die for us we can't remember we can't be remiss and not remember that I hope this encourages you today to stand on God to know that he loves you to know that he's the one that labels us and he's the one that defines us. And this is not the end of your story. He is changing your story. But he has a good plan for your story. And the test that you've been in, you're going to have a testimony. You will not be defined by it. You will be defined despite what you have gone through. So let me go into prayer with you. Father God, I just thank you once again that we have an opportunity to be in your presence. You said where two or more are gathered that you're there in the midst. Lord, I thank you as I'm touching and agreeing with my sister and brother on the other side that you are here with us, Lord. Lord, I just thank you that you are the one that is defining who we are. That you are the one that is calling us triumphant. That you are the one that is calling us healed. That you are the one that is calling us blessed. That you are the one that is calling us and giving us a new story that you are the one that makes us whole that you are the one that continues to bless us and keep us lord it is in your darling son jesus name i pray and continue to thank you lord amen have a blessed week